Hello, little explorer. Did you go on an adventure today? Did you explore anything new? Being a little explorer means we're always learning and exploring the world around us, and sometimes even out of this world. Tonight, we are going somewhere special. Before you go to sleep, we're going to go beyond our planet on a magical journey into space. Are you ready? First, we have to prepare for our journey by slowing down our breath. One fun way to use your breath to help you calm down is to breathe into a different part of your body and feel it relax. Would you like to try it with me, little explorer? Here we go. Breathe in and breathe into your toes. Feel your toes as you take a big breath in and then let it out. Feel your toes go all soft and relaxed. Now, breathe into your legs into your legs and then breathe out and feel your legs go soft. Now let's breathe into your belly, into your belly and when you breathe out feel your tummy go all soft. Great job. We're nearly there. Now let's breathe into your face and breathe out and feel your cheeks, your nose, even your ears go all soft. Wow, well done. Now that you are calm and relaxed, little explorer, let's go exploring. Exploring into space. Ready? All great explorers have a backpack. And in your backpack, you have a special jetpack that can blast you up, up into space. All you need to do is to put on your backpack and space helmet and then take in a big breath. Ready? Here we go. Breathe in. Whoosh. we go. Up over your house, up over your town or city, above your country, above the whole of planet Earth. Up and up through the clouds and into the twinkly stars and planets in the night sky. Whoosh! Oh, look! We're here! How amazing does it feel to be floating up here in space? Now, guess where we are going to explore tonight, little explorer? We're going to the hottest part of our whole solar system. Do you know where that is? 
That's right. We're going to the sun. Why is the sun so hot? And why does it shine so brightly? Do you think it's actually on fire? Shall we go on a mission to find out? Let's fire up our jetpacks and whoosh through the stars to find out. Whoosh. Oh, look, here it is. Let's float close by because the sun doesn't actually have a surface to stand on. And even if it did, it would be way too hot for our feet. Now, we're going to need to be very, very careful, aren't we? Because, as we know, if we are out in the sun too long, we can get sunburnt. So we better get out our supercharged space sunscreen, little explorer. Right. Make sure you put that all over your skin. Don't miss any spots. Well done. Now, shall we fly around and have a look? Hmm, it doesn't look like it's on fire. It looks like the sun is actually made up of gas. And all the tiny bits of gas are smashing into each other. Like everyone is dancing together at a party. Have you ever jumped around and danced around until you were super hot? That's what's happening in the sun. And all those little gas particles smashing into each other creates the heat and light we see from the sun. Isn't that great? I think we've solved our mystery, little explorer. The sun looks like a big ball of fire, but it's actually a huge ball of dancing gas. Now that we've solved that mystery, shall we fly back home? Back home to our planet, back into bed for a long sleep. As you fly back, take a moment to think about all the things you are thankful for in your home, your community and your planet. Tonight, I'm really grateful for our sun. Without our sun, we wouldn't have any plants, or food, or people. It's what keeps us all warm, alive, and so happy and healthy. What about you? What are you grateful for tonight, little explorer? Are you thankful for the lovely sunshine? Or maybe you're thankful for music and laughter. As you float back down into bed, 
fill your mind with all the things that make you happy, especially the people you love and who love you back. Landing softly back in your bed now. Ready for a great night's sleep. Waking up in the morning, feeling healthy and happy and ready to explore the world again tomorrow. Good night, little one.